Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're looking at the H1Z1 Just Survive update notes and server wipe for April the 13th. Servers will now have the new base and building mechanic. This means that you can anticipate seeing a little more of the rapid decay rate. Some of this decay is marginal for those who are on daily, but can be rather significant in its incrementation in just a period of say 18 to 24 hours. The Governor's Mansion will have the new build applied to its area. This should help curb the ubiquitous grief building that often happens there. I'm curious to see how this will affect game performance provided the new system will expel neglected or abandoned structures with a higher degree of frequency. Adjustments were made to the Screamer Zombie to dial back its lethality and will now be set to normal. Additional changes were made to zombies so that they have the proper aesthetic appeal and they'll no longer awkwardly hold weapons as the weapons now are holstered. And we can anticipate punji traps and barbed wire having better lethality to zombies as well. The devs specifically mentioned that zombie behavior and or AI is being tuned to increase the threat level posed by zombies. I'm incredibly curious in regards to the team adjusting zombies to at some point attacked player made structures and seeing how this will affect the game world more specifically in PvE where levels of danger and threats aren't as prominent. It would appear that wildlife spawns have been dialed back a bit, especially wolves, much to our delight. The recursive build mechanic will be delayed, but I'm confident that we'll still see varying degrees of base building methodology, but with the level of cleverness, ingenuity, and just plain tenacity of players, I'm confident that this new system, once it is introduced, isn't going to deter players from coming up with even more impressive fortresses. I'm sure a lot of us are happy to hear that the dupe bug has been addressed. Obviously, this issue would give certain players an incredible advantage over others, not to mention the game imbalance that it would oftentimes generate. Also to note, the team will be making incremental changes, which may not always be accompanied by specific notes or dev outlines. These are typically done to address exploits or other game issues that can pop up during the course of daily gameplay. You can learn more regarding these changes and a whole lot more game-related information on the H1Z1DB website. It's a one-stop shop for your H1Z1 needs. Stop by, take a look around. I'm sure you'll discover a ton of useful stuff there and be sure you add them to your bookmarks. That's been a snapshot look at the update notes for April the 13th. Thank you all for your continued support as we march towards 5,000 subscribers. If you're new to my channel or a frequent visitor, be sure you're subscribed and share this information with your friends or fans of the game so that they are equally as informed on all the latest news and information concerning H1Z1.